Hey guys, it's Chris here from Studio Ninja. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about PicTime integration. Specifically, how to actually integrate with PicTime, and then how to link your Studio Ninja jobs to your PicTime galleries. And finally, how to import those PicTime orders that your clients make back into Studio Ninja so that all your financials stay in the same place. Cool, let's get started. So, let's start with step one first, actually linking PicTime to Studio Ninja and setting up the integration. Head over to your settings page and find the integrations option. This is where you'll find the PicTime integration settings. And to connect PicTime to Studio Ninja, simply click connect. You'll be taken to the PicTime login page. Simply log in using your PicTime email address and password and you're good to go. Next, it asks, do you want to grant Studio Ninja access to your PicTime account? Yes, of course we do. So let's click approve. The final step in this integration process is to add a galleries page introduction. As this pop-up describes, PicTime galleries can be added to any Studio Ninja job. And once a gallery is added, a galleries page will appear inside the client portal of that job. So here is where we can enter a custom introduction for your client to see when they are on that page in the client portal. We've given you some inspiration to get started, so feel free to use this or add whatever message you would like here. Once you're ready, click save and we are done. Your Studio Ninja account is now integrated with your PicTime account. Next, we'll talk about linking a Studio Ninja job to a PicTime gallery. So let's head over to a job and see how that works. Okay, so now that we're in a job, in this case, it's Natasha and Chris's wedding, the first thing that you'll notice is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, a new galleries section has appeared, showing that you're now integrated with PicTime. Click on add new gallery. Here we are presented with two different options. You can either link this job to an existing PicTime gallery that you've already created in PicTime, or create a new PicTime gallery from within Studio Ninja. Let's start with this option first. Click on create new PicTime gallery. To save you time, we have automatically entered information into these fields for you. For example, the job name will automatically become the PicTime project name, and the same applies for the URL. These are obviously editable, so change these details if you like. But once you're happy with everything, click Save Gallery. You'll be automatically redirected to your new PicTime gallery, and here we can finish off the setup process. Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's assume we actually got the bride's name wrong, which is pretty unlikely as we've already photographed their wedding. But anyways, for the sake of this tutorial, let's say her name is not Natasha, it's actually Jenny. So here we can change that to Jenny and Chris's wedding. Now let's go to the photo section and upload a few photos. Okay, awesome, the photos have uploaded. So let's head back to Studio Ninja and see what has happened. The first thing that you'll notice is the changes that you've made haven't appeared here yet. To bring the changes from PicTime into Studio Ninja, you need to click the sync button. Now we can see that the name has changed as well as how many photos appear in this gallery. If you click the button preview, you'll get to see a preview of what this gallery looks like for your clients. The edit button will take you back to PicTime so you can make any additional changes to this gallery that you like. Clicking the disconnect button will obviously disconnect this gallery from Studio Ninja. And just to reiterate, this does not delete the gallery from PicTime. If you would like to permanently delete the gallery, you'll have to do that from PicTime. Lastly, if you scroll up, you'll notice a new pick time section in the invoices box. And as this gallery hasn't had any orders yet, there aren't any invoices to import, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, next, let's talk about linking an existing pick time gallery to Studio Ninja. Give me a sec while I delete the gallery that we just made and start from scratch, back in a minute. Okay, we're good to go. Let's scroll back down to the gallery section and click on add new gallery. This time, let's choose Select Existing PicTime Gallery. Using the drop-down, you'll see all the galleries that you have saved in PicTime. 
To make it quicker, you can actually start typing and the options will start to filter down. In this case, let's select Natasha and Chris's wedding. This integration actually allows you to link multiple PicTime galleries to a Studio Ninja job. So for example, if you have shot an engagement shoot for this couple, as well as their wedding, you can link both of those galleries to this job. Just so you know, up to 10 different galleries can be linked. Once you've chosen the correct gallery, click Save Gallery. And it's as simple as that. Now, let's just say, for example, that Natasha and Chris, or a family member, or whoever, have placed an order for a canvas through PicTime. What will happen is, next time you log into Studio Ninja and come to this job, an order will be sitting here waiting to be imported. For the sake of this tutorial, I have already placed a pretend order for a canvas before this gallery was linked. So I can simply click the sync button and you'll see that we have one order waiting to be imported. Click import and that order will appear in Studio Ninja as a paid invoice. Beautiful. Now we can track all of our income easily in one place. Two final things to note. If your orders in peak time contain multiple different tax rates, so for example, if someone buys an album which has 5% tax, as well as a canvas which has 10% tax, even though this is one order in peak time, we will be importing them as two separate invoices in Studio Ninja. And lastly, remember, we now have a new galleries tab in your client portal for this job. So if you're working in Studio Ninja, and you would like to direct your clients to their PicTime gallery, you can do that via the client portal. And this is what it looks like. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or need help with anything at all, click the green chat button and ask. One of our team members will get back to you in a couple of minutes and help you with whatever you need.